All right, guys, so we're gonna keep moving on forward and pretty soon we're gonna be working with uh, Google Firebase and we'll actually be using Google Firestore. So bear with me because I'm a little new to this stuff too and I think a lot of people are new to this concept of a no SQL database, especially if you started uh, out with an SQL database. It's a, it's a bit of a hard concept to wrap your mind around. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by kind of showing you what we're doing today. We're, this is kind of our, our goals and we're gonna get as far as we can before the next video aiming for about 15 to 20 minutes long every video just for reference okay so uh, we're gonna start by setting up the login screen we'll do a setup screen we're gonna use sheet we're gonna modify the scene delegates we start out at the, at the login screen and then we'll actually move into setting up firebase and firestore from there so we can get the sign up screen working okay so first things first like we said we're gonna start by setting up a login screen so we're gonna create a new I know it feels like we're just doing a ton a ton of UI development and it's really important because I think you gotta kinda have an idea of what you're gonna do in that realm to understand where you're gonna take the back end. So we'll do login screen, login view actually, okay? Let's create that login view and let's resume. Okay, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna drag it out here. I wanna pull it out to this level. I, I love organization, okay? so. Login view, and we want this. Let's start by adding a Z stack. Okay, that Z stack is going to end up having an image up top, um, and actually, sorry, just an image. And then below that, we will actually have some text fields. I like using this because it puts everything I need automatically. So, text field, another text field. I know I'm going to want a spacer below that uh, to push everything upwards. I'm probably gonna wanna make this have a frame with a height of roughly 400, probably 350 all things considered. I'm gonna give it a frame min width of zero and a max width of dot infinity. And that's actually how we get, well, let's click resume so we can look at what we're dealing with. And with max width. Let's just go ahead and do that. Just uh, it's not liking the fact that we haven't uh, put anything for there for that. So the frame. I'm just gonna do this for now. Min width of zero and max width of dot infinity. We've used that before. Let's hit try again. Let's see what we got. It's just not cooperating. So we're gonna try again now. Uh, it's the fact that this image doesn't actually have a value. So let's give it. Sorry, silly, silly little problem. So play that fill. I like time lapse. I think it looks nicer. Easier on the eyes, time lapse. So try again. That should relieve that issue, okay? Now notice notice its width. We don't like that width. So like I said, I like funny background colors for now. It's gonna be color dot blue. Okay. And now what I want to do is I want uh, this to expand in width. So I'm gonna do that. And that looks good. This spacer isn't really pushing anything up right now, but we can fix that issue. Uh, it's because we put Z stack. I want a V stack. All right, now it's pushed upwards. I want to do edges, ignore, safe area, dot top. I'm not sure why this autocomplete isn't working. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just going to close this out. Okay, I'm gonna reopen that. And let's just open that. So we had recipe. Just a file up recent. Okay. Autocomplete should be functioning now. That's pretty frustrating. So let's just find where we where we've used this before. We know we've used this, so Let's go to home view, edges, edges, search the entire project. All right, just to avoid dealing with that for now. There we go, dot all. We'll just do top actually. Hit try again. All right, so as you can see, we made our way up the top here. That looks good. So whenever we make a text field, we want two text fields here. 
that's good. We'll make this one say, we'll say user name. This one will say password. Okay. Perfect. All right, we'll give this a spacing of zero. Spacing zero. Okay, but we want to give these some padding. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And let's go ahead and give this entire V stack. I, li I like to give, yeah, I like to give everything a color. It lets me understand how big everything is. Okay, and so we'll give this one a background color red okay all right and then underneath that you know I'm not entirely sure what this is or why it's doing that but I'm sure it's actually related to this edges ignoring and sure enough it is so um, it's fine it's not really an issue and what I'll do now is I'll put a button so let's go here, grab a button. Okay, and we're gonna want two buttons realistically, right? We're gonna want um, we're gonna want a, a login and we're gonna want to sign up. So we'll make this one say login. Make this one say sign up. Okay. Let's uh, let's give this button some padding. I like doing it like that on the inside because now I can give the whole thing a background color of purple. This is one ugly page, but gets the job done. That's all that matters. So I'm going to take that and make this one to sign up that we had it. There we go. Sign up. And we'll give make this one orange. We probably just have an extra. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna put a spacer between those two buttons. And I like to re-indent everything, make sure everything looks good. All right. And lastly, I'll put a spacer above the login button. But this is not really too readable of code, so I'm gonna put some space and put some line breaks in between here. Good. Okay. And I'll just give this a very definite size of height 30. Okay, much nicer to look at. Even 20 would be nice. Okay, let's go ahead and put some images in here. So I went ahead and found some images I, images I liked. And we'll grab them from the downloads. I'm going to grab a couple. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to assets. I'm going to drop them in. These are going to be locally stored images, okay? Okay, uh, they're named fade carousel because eventually we're going to create a fading carousel. But for now, let's keep it nice and easy. We're just going to do static images. Need the third image, which is right here. I'll, I'll drag them in because we're going to use them eventually. But let's pick an image I, I personally really like. I like this one. So fade carousel underscore two. All right. All right, there we go. Grab that one. I'm gonna go back to the login view. Instead, I'm gonna use this when I say resume. We're not using an SF symbol, so we don't need system name. We want it to be resizable. There it is. All right. And last thing, it's it's skewed. It's you know you can see it's kind of compressed vertically or horizontally. So we'll say dot aspect. Let's see. Uh, fill. Scale to fill. Hmm. It's not a uh, it's been on top. There we go. And lastly, we we'll just say clipped. Perfect. Okay, it's looking a little nicer, easier on the eyes. And we'll take this yellow. 
to make it clear. Okay, we'll take this red right here and make that clear as well. Green will make it clear. Okay. And this purple, why don't we make that instead? Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this login, I'm gonna say, put that in an H stack. Okay, and I'm gonna find an SF symbol. This one arrow dot right. All right. Put the padding on the outside of that. Perfect. Okay. And look at that background. Let's make it. Right. We'll pick the RGB nine. Five. Let's see what that looks like. I like that. Maybe even zero point. That's it's not easy enough to see. So it's not going to be the prettiest screen, but it's going to be functional. So lastly, corner radius ten, just for now. Okay, and we'll go to the sign up screen. And what we need to do is this sign up. What it's going to do now, instead of this at, well, this, we need to set up some variables in here, some state variables, so we'll do state, far, and we'll say sign up visible. It's gonna be equal to false, okay? Sign up visible, and when you click on this now, it's going to create a sheet. And what we can do is, for now, we'll make that open up the text view that says, this will be a sign up, and it'll move according to that. It'll, it'll use this bindable, um, sign up visible as its method of going, or under as its method of understanding whether or not to show that sign up sheet. So, um, I think there's something wrong just with this right here. This is what we're looking for. Okay. Sorry, just trying to figure out exactly how to write this. So sign up visible. That part we do like. And then for content, what we need to do is just put yeah, this. That's perfect. So now if I run this, not just this pre, not just you know the, the auto updating of the, the the UI, but I can actually run it to watch that sheet work. So once it catches up with us here, I can sign up. And it's not working because we actually need to start. We need to go into here for the sign up. And when we click sign up, it needs to toggle this. So sign up underscore visible dot toggle. We're going to closure. So we need to write self. There it is. Okay. And we don't see anything because we didn't write anything. But this is the sign up. Okay. So this is functional. We'll just, we're just going to roll with this for now. Um, I'll get rid of this orange. I'll make this clear. Let me get foreground color. Let's just use color dot init red zero point eight. Okay, that'll work for now. Now let's move on and create that sign up for you. So new file sign up. All right, for sign up, what we need to do is we're just going to go ahead and straight up create a V stack, 
and I'm just going to put a bunch of text fields in here. So I decided that for my sign up, I wanted to be able to know their username, password, a name, and an email. Okay. And go here and say name and email. So right. username. I'm going to change this one to name, password, and email. Okay, I'm just going to create four uh, state bars as well. So, and state bar uh, name. Okay. Our username, password, and email. Okay, and so now here we're gonna write name. And just gonna say username, password, and email. I'm gonna put this up here from a workflow aspect. I like that better. And the last thing I'm going to put is just a text up top that says sign up. It just wants me to set some default values because I didn't either need to set them here or I need to set them up when I actually create this view. I'm just going to have this set to nothing. Let me start. And there we go. So. It's not the, not the prettiest, but that's not really that important for now. Uh, just what we're trying to do is just set this up so we can set up Firebase. Um, in the next video, we'll move on to setting up Firebase. And looking at this to-do list, we did a login screen. We did a sign-up screen. Um, maybe in the very beginning, we'll just clean up the aesthetics really quick. Um, and then we're going to you learn how to use a sheet uh, to go from login to sign-up. And then lastly, we will do, um, we'll make sure that the scene delegate actually shows the login screen first. And based on whether or not you're already logged in, it'll either show that screen or it'll move you straight up to that tab in the root view. And from there, we'll set up the Firebase Firestore so we can actually get a functioning sign up screen. So you can actually sign up and log in. All right. So I'll see you in the next video.